All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. My name is Aaron, and today we're bringing you the most recent, the most pressing, the most interesting cryptocurrency news stories of the hour. You know the type of content that I love covering are these big news stories, these wow factors, these game changers. Well, today, my friends, it's different a little bit. There really is no huge story to cover. There's no there's no game changer. Instead, instead we're dealing with this. I had to turn to page two and three on Coin Telegraph and Coin Desk, and uh, even had to get on AMB Crypto to get some of this stuff. But nevertheless, gives us a chance to talk about some stuff, some altcoins I wouldn't normally get to cover, talk about some news stories I wouldn't normally get to go over. So I still think this video is going to have a lot of value. I wanted to bring it to you anyways because you know it's just a good habit doing a video every single day of the week. I mean, it's what I try and do. It's what we're known for. And still, we're going we're gonna to remain in the loop either way. So let's get to it. First piece of news is that Stellar is designing a new logo for itself. So this iconic rocket ship of Stellar's that we all have known and loved over the years, it's going away, unfortunately. I'm going to do a reveal of the new logo in just one second. But I did, before we get into that, I do want to wish a, a big happy birthday to the World Wide Web. Did you know that the World Wide Web turns 30 today, which means 30 years ago from today, there was nothing. Well, actually 30 years ago in one day, there was nothing. But, but just think how far we've come in 30 years, how much things have changed, how much easier, how, how much technology has progressed. The same thing is going to happen with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is 10 years old, and, and just like when the internet was 10 years old, things are a little bit clunky at first, but I wanted to point that out. It's, it's easy to forget the World Wide Web is still, you know, 30 and flirty, as they say. Anyways, let's talk about this new Stellar logo. So I'm going to spare you all the reasons. In this press release, they go over reason by reason by reason um, why they decided, well, re the, the real reason why they decided to um, change their logo. They said, we have big plans for the future of Stellar. Could you see a cartoon rocket ship in use at some central bank or in a press release from a national monetary authority? Well, we couldn't either. So they list out all you know the trial and tribulations they go through trying to figure out their new logo. So this was the initial design. So they paid some marketing expert big money to come up with the circle with the line through it. But this was just the first idea because what the Stellar logo looks like now is this kind of like Saturn, has the double lines through it. It's okay. I feel like it's going to grow on me. I was actually pretty fond of the rocket ship, but uh, this is what it would look like in its natural habitat, in, in real world use. So what do you think of Stellar's new logo? Um, you know, it's just, it's hard to say goodbye to the rocket ship, in my opinion, but it's, a, it's pretty good. It's better than a lot of things. Let's move on. Uh, Cheerios is bullish on crypto. Scan this buzz coin. Um, I don't think it's a real blockchain based crypto, more of a, of a marketing gimmick, but still pretty cool. You know, somebody involved with Cheerio is big on Bitcoin. Next up, we're just going to fly through these. Samsung unveils cryptocurrency wallet dApps for Galaxy S10. So we're finding more and more information, more and more pictures about Samsung's new crypto wallet phone. What I wanted to mention right now, you probably heard. Apparently, the reports are that Bitcoin is not a native cryptocurrency that can be stored or sent or transacted from the Samsung cryptocurrency wallet, which is talk about an oversight, right? You make this cryptocurrency phone and you forget Bitcoin. Oh my God, somebody got fired. No, I think um, in reality, the way it was explained to me is that this is the wallet, the cold storage wallet as part of this phone. It's going to be more for in-game, like decentralized app purchases and in-game in -game skins or in-game swords. You know how in decentralized applications, if you were to buy a sword or buy a skin, then that's yours forever, that unique one on the blockchain. And I, I guess they're, they're gearing it more towards the dApps in the game, so... Be that as it may, I really think it was an uh, oversight not to include Bitcoin in this. Next up, the crypto official trailer is out. This is a trailer starring Kurt Russell, Luke Hemsworth, and many, many more. 
and it is it's called crypto and it's about cryptocurrency and i watched this whole trailer i'm not going to show it to you right now because it i don't want to get uh, this video taken down but let me tell you it is um it leaves me wanting let's just say that uh, personally my initial thoughts boring I love movies. I live in Los Angeles. I love cryptocurrency, but still I have my doubts on whether I'm going to see this. I mean, first of all, Kurt Russell, legendary, iconic actor. This guy for decades is not. Next up, the Winklevoss brothers, the owners of the Gemini cryptocurrency exchange are pounding the pavement, hitting the streets, getting the good word out there for cryptocurrency and especially the Gemini exchange. And they're asking people, trust us with your private keys. They bring up the example. Well, most people fail to secure their email accounts, right? Well, terming that as a fact, he went on to say that people shouldn't try to store their private keys considering they are long strings of digits. Hence the Winklevoss brothers said storing private keys should be left to them. The duo asserted that most people who own private keys screw up, and lose their password of their private keys or lose their laptop. They added that the exchange was designed to make storing keys and trading with the digital assets a seamless experience. I do like how they finished. The coolest thing about cryptocurrency is that you can have it both ways. Hey, if you want to store your private keys, you can do that. If you want Gemini to store them, you can do that. And that's, you know, I'm sure some people will want to take advantage of this, right? Yep, just remember the golden mantra, not your keys, not your coins. Anyway, the next story is about Decentraland. They're having a contest, and you could enter and win big prizes. So Decentraland, if you don't know, this is, you type in Decentraland.org, and this is their site, and then you scroll down, and you get to their landing page. Welcome to Decentraland, a virtual world owned by its users. Build, explore, and earn money from your creations. We've talked about Decentraland since the beginning. It's like second life on blockchain. And in this virtual world, you can actually buy plots of land that are unique to you and yours forever, build upon them, and eventually you'll be able to monetize them and possibly earn big money. I mean, there's videos of people online who bought, I guess, the the good spots of land and they paid thousands and thousands of dollars for it because they're saying in, in years from now when this game gets big you know it's going to be worth a lot of money it's like buying a boardwalk in monopoly or something but anyway the story here is that they're having a contest and basically our creator contest is our way of celebrating the launch of decentraland's builder a drag and drop scene editor um, so you can see exactly what they're doing because Decentraland still is in its early stages, but you can see all the progress they made if you want to participate. And all you need to do is anyone who signs up for the competition can use it to create scenes using the bundle models and 3D assets. You can submit up to 20 different scenes in the competition. Uh, they will be examined by a panel of judges comprised of designers, artists, developers from the gaming and entertainment industry. And these are scenes, it's they're using um, the virtual world of Decentraland is divided up into different plots of virtual real estate, referred to as parcels of land, a scene as a collection of models, textures, sounds, and code that make up the three-dimensional environment hosted or deployed on the land. A scene could be a simple house, a city park, blah, 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 blah. You use their builder, create whatever you want, you submit it to the competition, and you can win big prizes. 50 people will win. First place is 200,000 mana. Fifth place is 25,000 mana. This is just their way of telling the community about their builder release, how they're, they're making progress in this. Uh, they're an altcoin who is making progress. And feel free to find out more about Decentraland at decentraland.org or market.decentraland.org if you want to buy some land. Pretty interesting. Next up. Colorado is making moves. Colorado governor signs bill to exempt cryptocurrencies from security laws. So if you're bullish on crypto, if you're bullish on not just Bitcoin, but all altcoins in the future of cryptocurrency, while on a federal level, the US isn't doing much, on a state level, some states are doing good. These people are on the right side of history. Head on over to Colorado to find out more about that. Or there's Texas. Texas wants to ban anonymous cryptocurrency transactions. So if you send anonymous Bitcoin or any altcoin, 
you could be facing jail time. Well, that's if this bill passes. So once again, Texas is on the wrong side of history. Bitcoin transaction numbers in Venezuela nosedive as country goes through acute power outage. So we know that Bitcoin transactions were on their way up, a grassroots movement, because Venezuela needs cryptocurrency. Well, due to a power outage, they obviously couldn't use Bitcoin for a while. So hopefully the trend, this, uh, this problem is going to be fixed, but hopefully the trend continues to go up as far as adoption in Venezuela, because they really do need Bitcoin. But to go along with this story, let's think about the future, because did you know talked about this about a month ago, Blockstream were excited to announce that the satellite API is now in the mainnet, meaning that you can send Bitcoin globally through satellites. So when you talk about Bitcoin to friends, inevitably the conversation comes up, well, hey, what if, what if the electricity goes out? What if the internet stops working? First of all, if the internet stopped working globally, if electricity stopped working globally, we'd have much bigger problems than whether you can transact with Bitcoin. So Besides that, if that did happen, well, guess what? In the future, you could send Bitcoin via satellite. The Blockstream satellite network broadcasts Bitcoin blockchain around the world 24 seven for free, projecting against network interruptions and providing anyone in the world with the opportunity to use Bitcoin. So pretty cool the way the future is going. Final thing I wanna talk about is a recommendation. If you want a really, really good podcast that'll really make you bullish on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, check out Andreas M. Antonopoulos on the podcast, What Bitcoin Did. Uh, this video was just released about a week ago, and it really is. I mean, you've probably heard him speak before, but this is different because in this, he's just, it's more free, it's more loose, and he just pontificates and talks about the future of Bitcoin providing so much perspective, bringing in the past, and just all, all these different factors. It really makes you think, and it really makes you bullish. I really liked it a lot. Anyways, that is it for me, my friends. This is Aaron at Altcoin Daily. Right now, Bitcoin is sitting at 3,800. I have seen some TA reports saying that right now we're in mid-March. I hear April to June. These next two months is going to be very pivotal. It's going to be very pivotal. Some people, some TA experts are saying these are the months where we wound up so tight between this resistance here and the 200 week moving average resistance that we will break down. I tend to think that is the most possible scenario. Of course, other people think at this point we will break up. Uh, either way, the future is bright. This is not a game of months. This is a game of years. 2019 is, is not a time for euphoria. It is a time for infrastructure build out, adoption, and accumulation, in my opinion. All right. That is it for me, my friends. This is Aaron at Altcoin Daily. See you tomorrow.